world. I got paid today. Can you go deposit all the cash at the bank? Who do you think I am, Dolores? Your husband or something? Why can't you ask for a paycheck? I hate taking this cash to the bank. And besides, the branch is all the way across town, and there's only one. You think I got time for this? Do you want to be able to pay the cable and the electric bill or not, Harold? It's not like you work. Ah, uh, shut up, you big hussy. Hey, guys. H- who are you? How did you get in here? This is private property. <laughs> That's not important, sir. The point is, I know how to solve your problem. What problem? The fact that I got butt cramps? Harold, why do you always got to tell our guest about your butt cramps? <laughs> no, sir, listen, I don't care about your butt cramps. I care about your money. Oh, I get it. You with a bank or something? Sir, I'm with a special kind of bank. I'm with NBB, Nick Bosley's bank. The bank that comes to you. Hi. I'm Nick Bosley with Nick Bosley's Bank. Are you looking for a new bank that's not all the way across town with a little less of those fees that are so inconvenient to you? Well, I have just the solution. It's called NBB, Nick Bosley's Bank. We come to you. In fact, we come directly to your house and we take your money and we'll thank you for it. Why should I give my money to you? I make so little. You don't make any money, Harold. Oh, sir, it doesn't quite work like that. All right, fine. Here, take it all. Just just go. Oh, thanks, buddy. And here's a sucker for shopping with NBB, Nick Bosley's bank. Oh, wait. Before you go, how do we make a withdrawal? Oh, sir, you only make a withdrawal if you can catch me. <laughs> Nick Bosley's bank. Come on down to the corner of wherever you live, and that street beside of you will come to you, and then we'll take your money. That's right. At Nick Bosley's Bank, I'll take your money, and we'll thank you for it. This week on Dr. Bill. I don't care what you say. Sex with three women at the same time is not okay. A troubled teenager. You cannot seduce your teacher with love and promises that you cannot keep for moderate grades. A family torn apart. I don't care how hot she looks. She is your stepmother, and she is off limits. This week on Dr. Bill family doctor this week on dr bill we have child singer songwriter nick bosley as he talks about his new clock time release we talk about his success as a musician and his failures as a human being we have some surprises for him and for you so stay tuned on dr bill thank you thank you thank you for for coming to the Dr. Bill show, I'm your host, Dr. Bill. He's won zero Grammys, has been nominated for zero awards, including the Clock Life Man of the Year Award. He holds the Guinness record for writing songs to the same chord progression, and he's being investigated for murder. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Bosley. <laughs> wow. Welcome, Nick. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've, I've never seen a studio audience before. You guys, let me tell you, you guys are absolutely, can I just give yourselves a round of applause? You're, you're amazing. You're Thank amazing. You. All right, Nick. This is my show. I'm the one who controls. Turn off the applause sign, please. Thank you. Nick. Yeah, shut up. It's great to have you here. Thank you oh, for agreeing great to come on. It's great to be on. here, Dr. Bill. I, uh. Are you related to that funny d- character named Bill that that makes the hoo-hoo kind of sound? No, uh, uh, not not me. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I I also want to apologize that you could not hear any of the intro from where you were in the back. Well, uh, you know, it's it's noise canceling and. Uh, yeah, you know. I know how game shows work. Let's a- go. Absolutely. Well, this is not a game show, Nick. Uh, oh, I am a doctor. So I was going to win some today, money. But, you know, I, and today you're here to talk about uh, your great, uh, your your <laughs> your album. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, wow. it's uh, it's it, it was really something, yeah. Doctor Bill. It was, wow. um, you know, it, it it was a part of me mm. um, that I left in the uh, in the stall of the second bathroom on the first floor. Wow. But um, yeah, I had a good time making it yeah doing and, it and so so music so you've had that going on so for for those who don't know nick bosley is a child songwriter he, he used to go to the campfires around the world and play music for children now uh it, it, it's true recently um there there's been some settlements made where now you're not allowed within 500 feet of children um, yeah, I, I'm just, I read the news like everybody else. Nick Bosley, can you talk to us about that? Yeah, you know, the thing is, um, I, uh, I did some things. I saw some stuff. Um, but, you know, around those campfires, I, uh, well, I went out there to sing to the kids. Yeah. You know, and I guess they, they looked down 
on uh, on me, you know, stealing their money. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was, it was wrong. Uh, it's a, yeah. uh, I know that now. Yeah. So I, I moved on, you know. I moved on to trying to swindle money from, you know, older folks. Uh, yeah, so so speaking of which, Nick, yeah. we've, we've noticed a lot of different commercials. You've had, you've opened a few businesses in lieu of your campfire travels. Yeah. Do you care to talk about that a little bit? Well, you know, my latest one is, is a bank, and, uh, you know, <laughs> we all know about those banks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're all... Uh, we we they're all have something. money in banks. I know I do. <laughs> those banks that, uh, <laughs> they want to take your money, yeah. and, and they yeah. think that, that, that you're going to be able to get it back, right? Right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, it's yeah. really it's really something. So I said oh. to myself, self, if banks can take my money and then not let me get it out whenever I want it, uh-huh. then why don't I just take other people's money and call myself a bank? I mean, uh that <laughs> that seems to work, right? You yeah, know? so, so I mean, what, uh, what what is this bank called? NBB, uh Nick Bosley's bank. Wow. And you can come on down to the corner of wherever you live and the street next to you because here's the catch, okay? We come to you, and we take your money, Doctor Bill, uh-huh. and uh, and and we'll you know we'll thank you for it. I have to ask: Is this federally insured money up to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars? It's federally insured money um, for my butt, and the answer is uh, <laughs> the answer is no. It's not. Um, it's look. Okay, I can't. Right. I can't. Fe- I can't insure your money. Whoa, whoa everybody! It's, I o- mean, it's okay. Relax. Listen, I-, I want to be able to insure your money. But I, I can't ensure that I'm not going to run off with it. I can't ensure that I'm not going to give it how to myself. how is this a sustainable uh, business? How how can you go around parading? I mean, you're essentially, uh, you're like the 1900s version of a black look, guy. It's <laughs> it sustains me, okay? Uh, you give me your money and I, I eat for a night, right? I mean, uh, uh, is, I mean yeah. yeah. Isn't that uh, good? Apparently, though, you've been doing a lot more than eating. Uh, on the most recent National Enquirer, uh, they, we've seen some <laughs> pictures of you with strippers. Nick, do you Look, allow this kind of behavior? A guy has to have his strippers, okay? Yeah. And I can't uh, you know, pay for it because uh, I don't have your money. You know, I don't make my own money. Yeah. I'm an artist. And don't artists live off of, you know, taking other people's money and then giving them some sort of a service? Sure. The service is you get to see me with strippers, Absolutely. right? Well. I mean, that's... Uh... No, but, but look, I, I mean, mean but this is, this is quite a departure, about. Nick Bosley, from singing the children at campfires to being caught in sweatpants in a strip club. Look, I go to strip clubs in sweatpants... Because it's more comfortable that way. It, it reminds me of my living room. Hey, don't, don't you go to the grocery store in your sweatpants? Uh, Nick, no, no, you, no. You I'm, I'm much Dr. more Bill, classier than that. You can't tell me that you don't go to Walmart in your boxer shorts. I, with clothes on top, Nick. Oh. Uh, there is a limit there. Um, I, I like to go to the produce section in my boxers because then I can really feel the products. That's inappropriate, Nick O'Kelly or uh, Nick, Nick Bosley. Uh, so we let's have a conversation here for a second. Uh, I know you gave me a list of questions to ask you. I don't like to be caught off guard. Um, so uh, forgive me uh, when I ask this question, Nick. Did you murder ten people? Whoa! Hey, hey, let's uh, let's let's hold up on the N word there uh, because uh, allegedly. Um, there were some things that were alleged that I did. Uh-huh. I didn't. I heard you were under I, the investigation of the FBI. Allegedly, uh-huh. I didn't do anything. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh-huh. Um, and the FBI did come to my house, uh-huh. but it was, look, it was a big misunderstanding. More, so six uh, people I had have downloaded, come forward. I had, I had downloaded a couple of movies and, uh, the FBI, FBI showed up and I explained to them, look, I didn't know that it was uh it was wrong to uh to download music, right? So, yeah. you know, so there you go. I mean Well Nick Bosley's recently been the subject of a new Netflix special inside the Bosley. Now, I don't know what what who where this information is, but it looks like the evidence is stacked against you pretty hard. I only did that show because I had a colonoscopy and I thought that Netflix was coming in to show the process of having 
you know, a camera up my butt. Unfortunately, Nick Bosley, that never made it to the series at all. In fact, we've just seen these gruesome pictures of these brutally murdered old people <laughs> thrown in ditches. Can and you? I, can I you... don't know where those uh, old people came from. Yeah. I only hid one body in a ditch. Uh-huh. I mean, allegedly. Interest, Nick, um, I know you don't like surprises. But, no, I, uh, I really, I really hate surprises. But as you know, Doctor Bill, we, 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 it's not every day that we have someone as of your importance here in our, uh, our presence. Yeah, yeah, I am uh, important. Um, so we have a great surprise for you. Yeah. Uh, so behind this door, we want to bring them out. New York's finest. The NYPD. Whoa! Hey, hey, listen, guys. We finally uh, got him. I, uh, this I, you is, know, I was not aware that this was going to be happening. This is I'm the first so, talk show host to ever uh, get a serial I, killer. Yeah, I'm, I'm captured gonna, on look, live guys, in the show. Listen, uh, you just stand right there, okay? And I'm going to make a quick escape. My my stomach. Uh, all right. Uh, look, I'll I'll uh, I'll come quietly. Live from the AOK Production House. Studio number two, because we can't fit a number one. Yeah. I'm Nico oh. Kelly. I'm Derek Daisy. And what you just witnessed, uh, I want to highlight the alleged nature yeah. of anything you may or may not have just heard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, we're, uh, we we just uh, we make it up as we go. That's what happens. Um, I love the Nick Bosley character. I, I know you do. Nick. He's so endearing, you he know. Uh, he's so fun. Um, he's he's a bit crude at yeah, times. Yes. Um, he's, he's you a- if you were a con man, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, like a lot of people might not know your con man side as well as I do, but Nick Bosley, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, he's really good at it, and that's why it's a con. That's true. <laughs> Proud of you. Um, yeah. So uh, you know, we're we're uh, we're having fun. You know, it's 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 a good way to go. That's what it's all about here at Two yeah. Echo Radio Show. If you're not having fun with us, then why are you listening? Yeah. That's all I got to say. I'm not telling you. No, no, where are you going? <laughs> no. No. No, come back. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't tell by the yeah. uh, um, the drum. Hey, some people are from, you know, New Guinea, and they don't know what that means, <laughs> you know. So our one listener, New Guinea, thanks. It's yeah. Good, good to have you. <laughs> it's good to have you. We do have a listener in New Guinea. <laughs> yeah. we, have, uh, we have listeners all over the world. Yeah. The really cool thing about Spreaker is it does show me where the listens come from. Yeah. Uh, unless it unless the the plays came from YouTube, then it it doesn't really show those. But the Spreaker plays, uh, it shows the geolocation, so I get to see. I mean, we have people all over the U.S., of course, but then there's a lot from uh, a couple from Australia that I get, and and uh, London, there's a few, and uh, Germany, there's a few, and Japan, we have a couple of listeners in Japan, and these are every episode. Yeah. I mean, I can see it, like, that week's listeners, and it's always the same people, so I know it's the same people. Wow. In Japan? <laughs> yeah, Japan. That I got a listener in Japan. Cool. I don't know who it is, but uh, you're welcome to, to the Echo, uh, whoever you are in Japan. I like that. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, why not? Wow. All right. Well, good. Just making sure. Um, yeah, I... Uh... I mean, I don't see those numbers, so I have no idea. I mean, I know we get a lot of visits to the website and all that. Um, again, it's we've we've had a good, healthy amount of time in the top ten on comedy on iTunes. I think we got up to around fifty six overall, which has been excellent. Yeah, we're up in the top forty right now yeah. on the top charts. Yeah, it's uh, amazing, so pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's really just an excellent thing. So again, thank you all for doing that. Yeah. Um, but man, yeah. So today, so if you haven't noticed from our or the way we do our shows, usually Sunday nights we have a musical guest um, where we showcase music, and then Wednesday nights usually is our uh, be stupid and proud show. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about different stuff. We'll joke. Um, we're just here to have a good time. Yeah, that's all we're doing. Yeah, that's all. We're, that's all. <laughs> so that's we make right. our joke commercials. Yeah. Uh, we talk about entertainment business in general. Yeah. Which I have something to add in that venue today. Okay. I went and saw 
Deadpool 2. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and you told me it was better than the first oh, one. Oh, man. I, I'm i sorry. I'm yeah. not going to give any spoilers away. Yeah, because I'm because, so far behind. Let me tell you. You saw Deadpool, though. I saw the original. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So as far as Deadpool goes, you're caught up. Yeah. <laughs> but That's right. um, there are some major uh, Easter egg spoilers that I could give away that I'm not going to give away. You better not. But uh, they're great, and it's it's just I don't know how it, it blows my mind that Fox has screwed up. I mean, screwed up. Yeah, Spider Man, uh, Fantastic Four, X Men has been hit or miss. Uh, Fox didn't screw up Spider Man. Uh, Sony. Oh, Sony. I'm sorry, yeah. Sony. Whatever. Right. So Fox, Fantastic Four, and uh, you're right, and uh, and X Men. Thank you. X Men is hit or miss. It is like um, X Men One was awesome. X Men Two was great. X Men Two is re- X Two is awesome. It was really good. X Three, what just happened? X Three started great. Yeah, and then I, I, just, I don't know what bleh. happened. I, <laughs> I mean, just totally crapped out. Yeah, Brett Ratner is what happened. But um, yeah. then uh, First Class, First Class, phenomenal. So, yeah, Days of Future Past. I, if you're talking about the Marvel landscape, yeah, I put Days of Future Past in my top five. Wow. I mean. Across all studios, yeah, yeah, because I love it. I mean, yeah. they brought both casts together. Mm. I think. I mean, that's one of the most popular, probably the most famous, one of the most famous X Men comic book stories. Yeah. So that graphic novel is phenomenal. Love it. Yeah. Um, of course, all. I mean, the the Wolverine, not Origins. Yeah, the or, Wolver- Origins. They messed up. No, that was and that was really bad. A, Even that, Ryan that Reynolds plays, is in that as Deadpool. That plays in. Oh, into I'm the, sure he into has Deadpool to. too. He so, to. uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's so good. And, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Origin sucked, but The Wolverine, where he goes to Japan, phenomenal. I like that. Yeah. Logan, fantastic. I have not seen Logan. I oh, want man. to. Logan is rated R. So good. Excuse me. Sorry. It's so good. That's what I hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's so actually, I have, and, and this is an interesting, you've seen all the X Men movies, I think, right? Uh, I have not seen the newest one because you said it was bad. I did buy it on iTunes. Um, we talked a couple episodes ago about how all my movies are on iTunes now. Yeah. I did purchase it on iTunes. Apocalypse, X Men Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. I again, I like the Apocalypse character. You know, I have the old X Men animated series. Oh yeah, great show. I, I just want to geek out here a few minutes. But, <laughs> yeah, it's so great, right? It still holds up to this day. Yeah. I own it on iTunes. Yeah. I've been watching back through it. Of course, Spider-Man animated series is excellent, too. I was like, Wolverine is such a douchebag. Oh, he is. And Gambit is in it. I wish they'd bring Gambit. They are going to make a Gambit movie, I think. They need to. But um, anyway, love the show. Mm -hmm. And and that's that's what I think Fox got right. They they modeled the cast after the animated series. Yeah. And and you can tell because they look like, you know. Um. But but anyway, uh, Apocalypse. Yeah. I mean, again, it's like X3. Like, it's not terrible Mm -hmm. it starts really good but then it's just kind of like yeah you know and quicksilver is so good um have you ever watched american horror story no so that's a great show Mm -hmm. uh the the one of the main characters from american horror story is quicksilver Mm -hmm. in the x-men franchise of course he's not in disney so i don't know how they're gonna bring that together yeah I'm so excited. I mean, I'm just so excited. I geeked out on X-Men all weekend because Deadpool 2 was so good. But um, I can't wait for Disney to buy Fox. Yeah. And this deal, man. You think it's going to happen? Comcast is trying to bust in mm. and break it up. And I don't think they can. I don't think they got the money. Yeah. I think, they'll, I, I think they are trying to raise money to borrow to be able to buy out Fox over Disney. Yeah. Which is just. I don't want Comcast no. to own any of it. No. I'm sorry. Why? Comcast is terrible. Can you imagine how bad? I mean, think about how bad Fantastic Four was, yeah. and what would happen if Comcast took it. I know. Not I know it's fan. not all about X Men and, and stuff, but for mm. me, that's the big thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I since our last because I still have not seen um, Infinity War, but what I started doing was there was a huge iTunes sale uh, yeah. last week, and so I bought a few movies. I'm very proud of you. I bought Iron Man three. I bought Captain America one. I'd never seen it. Um, I bought Avengers. Have you watched it yet? Uh, I did watch Captain America 1. Good, right? Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Winter Soldier's better. Um, that's what I hear. So, um, But that was $15. Um, sadly, and I'm like, I don't want to pay $15 for a dang movie. That's why. I know. <laughs> but Winter Soldier 
is still. I mean, Infinity I, War is just a little bit better, but Winter Soldier is my number two. But that's the thing. Like, so I watched Iron Man three. Iron Man three. It was it was weird. It was yeah. just one of those like he's just hanging out with a kid in the middle, and I'm like, all right, Tony, what's up? Yeah, again, uh, I and, and there was just so many plot holes. I'm like, well, if he had all those suits that could just fly over and kick butt, why didn't you do that to begin with, you dummy? Yeah, that that. It was just weird. Um, I, I again, it's one of these things where like I liked the setup, yeah, but the execution yeah, was terrible. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, just what I don't know. Um, I did buy Ant Man because that's Phase Two. The only thing I did have not seen in Phase One is Thor. Um, Thor's but, great. Yeah, and, I, and I'm I'm gonna get Thor, but everybody's like, don't bother with Thor Two. Don't bother. Yeah, it, it's it, like there's it an sucks. Infinity Stone in it, but whatever. Now you know that. Okay. Yeah. Um. But I, I'm going to watch Ant-Man. Uh, even though Ant-Man, they say you don't really need to watch Ant-Man to, to really tie it all together. But I hear it's like a good heist movie. It's an excellent heist movie. Yeah. Um, it's probably one of the most fun. Yeah. It is It is the most fun of, the, of Phase 2. Yeah. Um, um, but no, also, uh, Michael um, Michael Douglas? Was his? Yeah, Michael yeah, Douglas. Michael Douglas. Yeah. So great. Yeah. And uh, the girl in it is from... Uh, Lost. Oh, okay. It's the main girl from Lost. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to... Because what I'm trying to do is... Um, now I'm going to start getting the Phase 2 movies. I'm going to get Winter um, Winter Soldier. The thing is, like, I found, I sent you a link to this the other day. It's brilliant. You know, um, you know how you buy Blu-rays in the, um, you know, in the store and it comes with a digital download code? Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Yep. Well, they got this website where, well, I mean, there's websites out there that essentially sell these. Like, the person's like, well, I, I just want the Blu-ray. I don't want the code. So they sell the code uh, for a oh, yeah. lot cheaper. Yep. Um, I got Black Panther. I've not seen Black Panther yet, but I bought it for five dollars and seventy nine cents. The you HD know, code. There was a big thing about that, though. Uh, I think that there is a court case right now yeah. dealing with their actual ability. Like the Supreme Court yeah. is currently, it's on their docket yeah. to rule over whether or not that's legal. Uh. Um, to be able to sell. I don't remember this. This came out. This was earlier in the year, probably yeah. around February. Yeah. And uh, there was backlash. I don't remember if it was Redbox. I think it was Redbox. Redbox, yeah. Yeah. Because they were doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, for now, I'm right. You know, yeah, I, like, mean, I, I got, dude. That uh, could potentially change the landscape of, like, movie sales. Oh, like, yeah. Like, home movie sales. Well, for now, like, you know, a lot of the um, movies that I didn't want to pay $15 for, I can get them for $10 now. Yeah. Um, and I'm, like, Winter Soldier is one of them. So I may do that in Avengers 2. I haven't seen that either. Get it while you can Avengers um, two is kind of like Thor two. Um, yeah. It it's it ser- Avengers two definitely serves a purpose. Yeah. Uh, I did not like it as good as Civil War or the first Avengers, but you know, yeah, you sh- you should see it. But I've seen Civil War, and I know a lot of stuff in that movie is tied to yeah. that. Civil so War I have, is great. Yeah, I know. I love Civil yeah. War, so I have to see Avengers two. But because Captain America series is the best. But anyway, it, yeah. I mean, the first movie was okay. Like I, I. I was expecting it to be better. It's a setup. Uh, yeah. It's a setup movie. Yeah. I mean, that's so, what it is. It was what it was. But um, no, dude, I found like, down. you know, I wanted to see that movie Downsizing with Matt Damien. Yeah, that looked like it was going to be good. Got it for $1.79 on that website. Have the, you watched f- it? Not yet. The oh. 4K cut. I'm just like, the, these movies. And then you were talking about Mission Impossible last week. And uh, they, they had a Rogue Nation for two twenty nine. Wow. I know. I was like, dang, I haven't even seen it, but I might buy that. So you should watch it because the new Mission Impossible. So for me, and again, I didn't mean for this to turn into a movie show, but why yeah. not? I mean, uh, in front of Deadpool 2 yeah. was the trailer for uh, Mission Impossible Fallout. Cool. I mean, I'm telling you, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I mean, Mission Impossible 3 was good. I mean, it was yeah. great. But sometime between Mission Impossible 3 and uh, Ghost Protocol, they said, let's just do this right. Yeah. You know, and now it's it for me is the new James Bond. Yeah. Like, I want to watch these more. It's the same kind of movie. Yeah. But I like it more than James Bond. And Daniel I, Craig is great. I see. I never really liked the new James Bond movies. Like, I, you know, what was it? Um... What was the one? Everybody, Skyfall. Everybody loves Skyfall. I saw yeah. Skyfall. I was left very underwhelmed. That's not my favorite one. Yeah, uh, Casino Royale is the best. Yeah. Um, and the the newest one came out after Skyfall. It was called um, oh I can't remember. Um, this is the Hydra. Their Hydra version yeah. is uh, is what it's about. Oh, I'm gonna kill kick myself for this, but anyway, it was fantastic. Yeah, Skyfall was Quantum eh. Solace. Qu- no, no, that was the second one. Oh, so Quantum sorry. Solace and um and um. Skyfall were underwhelming. Yeah. 
but Casino Royale and this latest one, whatever it's called, were great. Okay. Were great. Yeah. Um, I just, eh. Yeah. But so, Mission Impossible is so much I fun. I'm so I mean, far, it's just such dude, a fun movie. I don't movie. think I've ever seen any Mission Impossible movies. Like, I, I know the references to the first one because that was, like, such a groundbreaking movie back then, but. Well, if you go watch the ones since Mission Impossible 3. Yeah. Uh, which was Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, and Fallout's about to come out. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, it's so much fun. Time. Yeah, I know. yeah. I, like I know. now, I've bought all these movies for twenty bucks. I got like fifteen movies, so now I, <laughs> I got to go through and watch them all. Yeah, um, I know it's tough, and I, I feel like my whole life is movies. But uh... and, and mine's a little less <laughs> movies. It used to be video games. I play very little video games because I'm always working on a show and working on ideas for this. Yeah. It's well, your days off are during the week. Yeah, and uh, you. I mean, it's it's always funny because like on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I, I know that you're at home because I, I almost forget, but then I remember because you tweet back at me. Yeah, <laughs> we have I'm, a Twitter uh, war going yeah, on. By it's, the way. it's called a War of the Twitter account, and we uh, <laughs> generally Nick will say something stupid like Nick's original thoughts. He'd be like, "Well, I looked at my underwear today, and I wonder <laughs> why don't they have some kind of stain remover for uh, you know the, the brown stains on there?" And I'll you know I don't tweet think. back. Yeah, I didn't write that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'll tweet back. I, I'll use the same Twitter account and say something and retweet him. Uh, and attack him, and no. then and I wait to see if he'll see it or not. Um, I always do. I know it takes sometimes it takes a while because you have to go out of your way to check to see if I did yeah. indeed send yeah. it to you. Um, and it's always funny to get his responses. <laughs> I, I, I uh, when I pretended to be you one day, I said Nick's original thoughts, and I did something. Yeah, and, 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 and you're like identity theft is not a joke. And then I posted Dwight as Jim from the office. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have fun. That is that is uh, one of my favorite episodes where oh, he comes in too. and sits down and he's and he's. Hey, you want to have like intercourse after work? He's like, no, no, okay. <laughs> uh, question: What is the what, what is the most dangerous bear? What bear is best? Yeah, bear bear is best? best? Well, that's a ridiculous question. There's a false false black bear. <laughs> well, that's lie. debatable. <laughs> Beats. Bears, beats, beats. Battlestar Galactica, beats, bears. Battles, <laughs> yeah. I love it. I got. Yeah. I just. I've just finished watching. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished watching through the entire Office series. Uh, I do that twice, three times a year. It yeah. seems. Um, it is so sad when he leaves. Yeah. Um, and then you know, then later on, Andy, uh, who is uh, whatever his name is, uh, also has like a going away where he sings the song. Oh. It's a, really cool, I will remember yeah, it's a really cool version of that song. You should do that. You yeah. should put that in your list. I don't play anymore. I don't play out anymore. Well, the next time you do. Okay. That would be... I thought that was a cool version. Oh, which, which, by the way, I have oh. to say this, too. Oh, okay. I want to rave a little bit about movie soundtracks. I wrote a blog about this not too long ago. What's the last movie you remember that did not have a good soundtrack? No, I don't. No, I don't mean I like. Not, I just might not remember the soundtrack. I don't mean it, it, that's my point. Not that you remember the last movie you remember. Yeah. I mean, what movie do you remember? Well, mm -hmm. can you think of a movie that you just? It's like a, a go-to movie for you that didn't have a good soundtrack. No, I mean it. it it's usually a combination of yeah, all exactly. pieces. It has to have good music, isn't to it? Be a good movie. Yeah. For me, I I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, you know what? Remember the Titans. Oh, yeah. Great soundtrack. Listen, baby. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man 2. Probably the Dedicated. Yeah. I am selfish. Love it. I own that soundtrack. Yeah. And it there are some great tracks on there. Yellow Card was on there. They wrote yeah. a song for it. Um, s Several others. I mean, <laughs> and uh, um, Maroon 5 has no, a song train. on there that's good. Did Maroon 5 do one? Yeah, I Maroon know, 5. Train um, had one. Yep. Train was uh, Ordinary. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ordinary. You really liked that in college. Yeah, that was a great song. Yeah. I mean, just fantastic soundtrack. The only soundtracks that I have purchased yeah. are of movies that were also fantastic. Yeah, I, I do remember buying that album, Spider-Man 2, because yeah, it was cause raved it was great. about. Space Jam. Sp <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, Space Jam. The definitive soundtrack of like the early 90s was space jam even though i'm not a hip-hop fan I believe I can yeah fly. everybody had that soundtrack I believe I can touch the sky. i put talking about ranking movies yeah i put guardians of the galaxy also in my top five mm. they're the first one now because the soundtrack i love the second one too and i think i may like the second one soundtrack even a little bit more mr blue sky with the electric light orchestra i've had that song stuck in my head 
Come and get your love. I bought I like both. Song too. I bought both soundtracks. Yeah. They're so good. And I told you in Infinity War when they introduced the Guardians, that's like the only pop song yeah. is them, yeah. and it's just like God, it's so memorable. Yeah. Um, Deadpool two had a phenomenal soundtrack. Yeah. And there was a acoustic. I'm gonna give this away because it doesn't really matter. Okay. There was an acoustic version of Take on Me. By the original guys? Yeah, well, no, take it's not the original guys. I don't think. Me, Maybe it was. It was so good. And this scene, me, I mean, it's a it's a it's a dream sequence kind of thing going uh, on. Uh huh. And I was like, whoa, like this song is fantastic. I and love I love that song. that song. Oh, it's such a good song. But I've never heard it done this way. Yeah. And I thought I heard the, Derek I, is gonna have to learn that. I heard the band the the actual original band do it live acoustically and he doesn't really go high with it he just that's how it was. maybe yeah. it was maybe, maybe it was them i'm not sure it was so good to yeah that's kind of how it like was well. but it was real slow and i mean it was like man like it just fit that so well and i don't know if you knew this but uh, he did a music video deadpool did with Celine Dion no yeah so there's a like it was a lead up to the movie. Yeah. It wasn't in the movie or anything. Yeah. The song was, but, uh, and everybody's like, why is he doing a music video with Celine Dion? <laughs> it's a hilarious what video. Song? I, I don't even know. Oh. Uh, I, I'll have to go back and look now. I think she, I think it's a new song of hers. Oh, no, damn. it wasn't that. Um, but the video is funny. You should go look it up on Google because he does, or uh, YouTube, because he does like a, a behind the scenes of the of the the video is a behind the scenes of this music video and yeah. Deadpool's in it and oh. like he's posing in it in front of Celine Dion and like hysterical. Well, they did. I'll give this away too because again, it's funny, but you know, it's not going to give the, the movie away. Yeah, he did a James Bond style opening to the movie, and it was the Celine Dion song. Huh. <laughs> so you know how James Bond always has like these graphics and flying through things and it's always a girl singing this big epic always so that was it (laughs) so funny so funny (laughs) well anyway i want to move on to another uh movie discussion here because okay oh go ahead no it's fine no i'm I'm still i'm on the road with you now (laughs) the next big movie that's coming out i don't know if you're planning on seeing it this weekend Uh uh-huh solo yeah i i am planning on seeing that that one I always find a way to go see. So we're going to be in Disney uh, this weekend, and um, I am probably when we arrive on Friday night, we're going to uh, perhaps go see it in downtown uh, because I want to see it that bad. But anyway, no. I saw an article. And you can tell me what you think about this. Uh, Star Wars screenwriter is against using a Guardians of the Galaxy tone. He says, to me, it isn't what Star Wars is. Yeah. I, I mean, I think I agree with that. I, Star Wars just... It, it it had John Williams and it had that kind of music. It was that style of movie. Um, I think that's what makes Guardian of the Galaxies unique, right? Um, that's what was like, oh, jarring. It's like Star Wars, except that. But if Star Wars went ahead and did that, well, then that, that kind of suspends disbelief of being in a different galaxy if yeah. it's using music, right? That's true. I think that's everything about it. Like, they don't, like, you know, I want to hear Cantina music. Yeah. do 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 and and he's he's talking about that and he's also talking a little bit about the comedy i guess um oh yeah the uh, lawrence the the writer lawrence um i forget his name but lawrence uh kasdan yeah the two the two directors that was their big thing in the movie was that they were very big about improvising yeah and they recorded a lot of improvisation um improvis- improvisation improvisation you had it <laughs> and uh he uh, like, and that was the problem. Like the screenwriter was pissed off that they were doing that. And he's like, "No," and Catherine Kendall was like, "No, you do the script as it is written. No improvising." Yeah. Um, and that's where I think a lot of things more didn't go well. Yeah, and that's it's funny to me because Dave Bautista, who God, where did he, where did this guy come from? Right? I mean, yeah. you know, from again, he's got the wrestling background. Um, but who knew uh, he wasn't just an action star, but also a bit of a comedian. Yeah. Um, a lot of his lines in Infinity War, and I don't know if this is true for all the movies, but specifically Infinity War were improvised. Really? Yeah. He just it was just banter. Him and Chris Pratt, and oh. you'll see it when you finally see it. Yeah. But Chris Pratt's like, nah, you need to do something here, and Dave Bautista just like came up with it, and yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah. I mean, it's so funny. <laughs> I I think I like what Marvel's doing with the comedy. Yeah. I think it really does add depth. Oh, it's an op, but it's it's a Disney thing. Yeah, like, nobody definitely. does it better than them. Yep. 
So the, the and that's that's the big thing now that Disney owns Lucasfilm. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of comedy. Rogue One, uh, that uh, that robot was funny. Oh, he's hilarious, and I hear the robot in the new ones even funnier. Yeah, okay. like uh, Lando's. Uh, uh, yeah. Robot. yeah, that'll yeah. be great. I can't yeah. wait to see it. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. I'm, I mean, I'm too. There's been like mixed reviews. Yeah, but that, I like that. I like that it's not being overhyped. Yeah. I'm like, good. Now I'm, now I'm not going in with high expectations. I'm like, you know what? I was willing to write this movie off a year ago. Now I'm like, yeah. all right. I'm, now I'm excited about it. Like, I'm not reading any more reviews because I don't want them to ruin pieces of it for yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like the moment I read a review and I say, well, it gets a little slow in the middle, then I go into it and I'm like, oh, this is the middle, you know? Yeah, and then I, yeah. I just, that's what happens to me. So I love Donald Glover. Yeah. I think I uh, he's a perfect Lando. Yeah. Well, he's funny. You said you watched Spider-Man, right? Yeah. You say he was, you know, he's in that. Yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah. Yeah. I know. He's in it for like two seconds, yeah. but uh, yeah, I read <laughs> He's great. Him. I mean, he's so good. Did you that, ever watch Community? Uh, no. Oh man. Yeah. Great show. Uh, that's where he came from. But uh, speaking of Spider-Man, that was a great movie, too, man. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, like, wasn't it great? Yeah, it, was, it was really funny. and um, How wild. Michael Keaton was. Oof. God, Michael Keaton is. God, he's like one of my favorite actors. Yeah, I you, love everything he's did in. Did you see what he did a few days ago? No. Uh, he did a commencement speech at a um for, for you know, like people are graduating. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to leave you with two words. Two words. If you remember anything I say tonight, remember this. I'm Batman. <laughs> and then he... And he is he, Batman. Why? He is freaking he is Batman. Batman. He's the best Batman. I'm going to tell you, the only thing that would have made... The only thing that would have made the uh, Chris Nolan Batman series better... Yeah. ...is if Michael Keaton had yeah. been in it. Yeah. <laughs> in some way or shape for him. Because yeah. he's still so... I mean, I think he could have done it. Yeah. I mean, Christian Bale was great, but Michael Keaton is just a better Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah. He's just so good at... He's so charismatic and just... Christian Bale's a little too hard for me. Yeah, I guess. he he was a no rough, pun intended. Yeah, but <laughs> but yeah, I mean, but what I liked about Michael Keaton's Batman is that he was extremely quiet. He didn't say a lot. Yeah, we all wear masks, you yeah. know. Where you want to get nuts? Uh, yeah, let's get Come nuts. nuts. But he's that as <laughs> Bruce Wayne. But like when you get to you know Batman by the Dark Knight Rises, so that's what that feels like. I hate that voice. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's the one part of that whole trilogy. I mean, I love the trilogy. Uh, of course, the Dark Knight's the best. Yeah. But Dark Knight um, was amazing. That's that's you must God. Have friends. That's Godfather Part Two for me. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that is Godfather Part yeah, it's Two. Excellent for our generation. Oh, big time. Love that movie. It's why I, I think they list that as my favorite. Oh yeah. I, I, think I mean, Heath Ledger did amazing, and yeah. It's just it's you know, and that I was thinking about this the other day too. If you're ranking comic book movies yeah i'm not gonna rank them right now nah, but, don't do it but i don't even know that you can com- like t- talking about let's take something you have seen civil war yeah which was great yeah fantastic i don't think you can even compare it no to dark knight yeah because it's not a, it's not even a comic book movie it is a crime drama yeah. like just oscar winning like amazing well, and the pace is so good like it just keeps going you know, like i i remember seeing that movie in the theaters dark night and uh i was blown away yeah i just remember being like oh my god the joker's so unpredictable i yeah. don't know what to do like but that was so exciting that was probably the most excited i had been in a movie i went and saw that movie eight times in the theater three time in imax uh because that was the first movie to have imax yeah. cameras and it. it was eight minutes of footage or whatever um or a sequence. Uh, and then uh, five times in a standard theater. Anytime somebody's like, yeah, I want to go see it. I was like, I'll go. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Uh, it they, was... Warner I Brothers. still watch it. I mean... Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least once a year. Warner Brothers got my money. <laughs> yeah. And Warner Brothers knows how to do Batman. I yeah. mean, Batman animated series is still like the quintessential just Batman, period. And Kevin Conroy. Yeah. DC has got the animated stuff figured out. They just, they, they've really lost it on the live action movies. Oh, man. Justice League sucked. Yeah. Well, and, I haven't seen it. That's 679 on my, uh, on that website. Well, I, <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for you. It's fun to watch yeah. because it is what it is. Yeah. But I don't like who they have for Lex Luthor. I don't really care for Ben Affleck. I mean, he looks like he's a roided out, you know. Was Lex Luthor in this again? Well, Lex was in Batman and Superman. He was in Batman. I think he was in it. Anyway, yeah. I-, I like him, Jesse, uh, whatever his name is. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah. Whatever his name is. But um, it just it doesn't work for me. You know it- where he started? You ever remember the show Get Real? Was, oh, really? It was on Fox. He was the little brother. He was Kenny. Oh, oh my God, oh. you killed Kenny. Yeah. You bastards. Yeah. Um, 
like they were joking about South Park, but he was in that. Anne Hathaway was in that too. Yeah, that's right. When she got started, huh. and the uh, Jesse the, Eisen, Eisenberg, right? Yeah. Anyway, and then the uh, another brother in that show. Uh, he he's a big actor too. He was in. Did you ever see Dumb and Dumber? No, I didn't see it. Not not the new one. The old the old one. But what like they did a prequel. Yeah, and no. they had the young guys. Well, the guy who played um, Lloyd. Uh, yeah, yeah, he 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 was in that, but I mean, he's been in a lot of different movies too. But um, yeah, it was like a really good cast, and I remember loving that show. It was canceled after one season. Yeah, Fox has a problem with that. Yeah, yeah, like Arrested Development. Yeah, well, yeah, they messed up. Named, yeah, did they? <laughs> yeah, I guess a little bit. Uh, the new season, <clears throat> new season's out on Netflix. It's also very funny. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, yeah, I know he was in Adventureland. Zombieland was funny. I mean, he's a he's good. Like he has he's kind of like dry humor. Uh huh. But the Lex thing, I don't know. He's, uh, he's bald. Yeah. I, I just don't like it. Uh, so he in, was bald. He was bald in it. Yeah. I'm oh, just, so he wasn't just Lee because he was only bald for a second in uh, Batman vs Superman. Yeah, I, I wasn't into it. Okay. Um, but Justice League. I mean, Wonder Woman was okay. Yeah, I heard know? that was good. The problem with these movies, I think, the problem that DC's having is that it's too much CG. Yeah, it, it really is. It's like, dude, the re- like the thing about Detective Comics was that they were grounded in the real world in a in a real way. Yeah. And like the one thing that I knew I was not going to like about Justice League is just on the trailers, everything's in red CGI. Yeah, and, like, it is. all of it looks it fake. Is. And I, I and you can make the argument like Guardians of the Galaxy also has a lot of it, but not that much. Yeah. There, it's a it's a nice Disney's got it figured out. They're Disney. Yeah, they got they got a good mix of practicality yeah. and uh, CGI. Even in Infinity War, I mean, and, and like Black Panther, which had a ton of CGI, they put just enough in there of real sets, real people, yeah. that it's just not CG overload. Yeah. And also, the the other problem with DC is that the the bad guys, you know, that are also CG, mm. are are like huge like bigger than life yeah. you know and it's just like it's just not believable i'm yeah. just not into it and I, I guess maybe batman just set the bar too high yeah which is not a bad thing but even superman i don't like the superman movies they're terrible yeah i just don't care about i feel like he's just too overpowered he is and that's it like super I, op I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really i can't root for a guy who's gonna win no matter what yeah it's like, it's like the new england patriots that's why i don't root for the new england patriots <laughs> Uh, Which we found out last week yeah, in our last, last episode, episode. Yeah, was uh, that's who you should be rooting yeah, for? Yeah, I don't think so. No, <laughs> um, Nick, I wanted to uh, you. There was a little quiz that you um, you did to me, and I want to do yeah. one to you. Oh, okay, all right. So here we go. <laughs> uh, what's your dream career? All right, Nick. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. You're going to give me the answers, all right? I'm going right. to give you answers to sh- uh, select from. We're going to, uh, that's what the game is called. What's your dream career? Yeah. Here we go. All right, number <laughs> one, Nick, your kindergarten teacher called you a, the chicken bot, uh, the chatterbox, the teacher's pet, the creative one, a sweetheart, or a challenge? Oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, I'd know. say teacher's pet. Yeah, I'd say to <laughs> I do that. Come on. <laughs> Your favorite class required a musical instrument, paints and markers, a graphing calculator, strong debate skills, or baking supplies. My favorite class? Yeah. I'm sorry, say that say them one more time. A musical instrument, paints and markers, a graphing calculator, strong debate skills, or baking supplies. Mm. Mm. I guess I'll go musical instrument. Musical instrument? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's take a look. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ready. All right. Uh, what do you really want out of life? Food, <laughs> money, or love? <laughs> That's hard. Is my wife listening? Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think she listens. Uh, let's go with... Oh, man. <laughs> this you, is tough. You fat bastard. Money. Come on. Let's go with money. money. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your friend needs a ride to the airport. Yep. You investigate the quickest way, uh, pick the perfect CD for the trip, find somebody else to do it, Say no way! I'm not a taxi. <laughs> Find the quickest way for yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. all right, investigate. Here we go. Keep it going. All right, all right. Check out your closet. It's organized and clean, crammed with junk, just full of clothes. See, I have this system. Uh, mm. I thought you have a system organized with. Well, I have the system. Yeah. No. Okay. What do you dream of most often? Flying high, getting chased. Being naked in public, losing your teeth, or saving the world with Marilyn Monroe before getting abducted by aliens and becoming the intergalactic president. 
That's strangely specific. <laughs> I don't think I've had that dream. Uh, let's say flying high. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I fly a lot in my dreams. All right. Okay. okay. That's weird. Yeah. To get ahead, you most <laughs> often play fair or fight dirty. Uh, uh, fight dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you <laughs> pretend you're playing nice, yeah. but you're being a douche. That's the dirty. Order up. <laughs> if you worked in a restaurant, you'd be a host, a waiter, a manager, head chef, or taste tester. Uh, manager. Yeah, all yeah. right. I can see that. Yeah. Monkey Joe's much? Yeah. Here we go. All right, which is scarier? Scarier. Your first interview, day on the job, presentation, or evaluation? Mm. I'm going to go... Uh, uh, Evaluation. Evaluation. I, I seek. Uh, I seek praise. <laughs> and you're not getting any. Bad <laughs> news at work. You'd rather be a bearer or be the brunt. Be the bearer, of course. You're like, uh, sorry, you're fired. <laughs> That's me all the way. Get out. Presentation yeah. time. You'd be the one who was at the podium, wrote the speech, made the PowerPoint, is taking notes, or is sleeping at the podium. <laughs> How would I not know that? <laughs> Best part of your very first job. Meeting new friends, learning something new, making some cash, getting things done, or helping people out? Uh, getting some cash. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> you're Jewish. All right, your boss. No, he's not. I don't think you're not Jewish. No, I'm not Jewish. Your boss should be a best friend and confidant, a super competent authority figure, a shadowy person in the background, or I'd rather not have one at all. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard. I know. Uh, I know. You're talking about me right here, so you better, better watch Let's go it. with friend and confidant. I like to be friends with my boss. All right. No. Uh, I'm not your boss. I'm not the boss <laughs> to the Echo Radio. Uh, ultimate- it's a facto. Yeah. I'm your boss. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate career goal, a big paycheck, job satisfaction, early retirement, fame, baby. Now, big paycheck. Yeah. I'll trade a paycheck for uh, fame any day. All right, last one. Do dreams come true? Of course, anything is possible. Maybe miracles can happen. No, I'm realistic. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I hope so. <laughs> anything is possible, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's oh. find out what your dream job is, oh, Nick. God. You ready? Oh, God. oh man. Oh, You're going to love this. Hold on. All right. I, I, I am... Uh... <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Can you think of anything better than having all eyes on you? We didn't think so. That's why your dream job is standing on stage under the spotlight, rocking out, not selling merch or just playing in an opening band. No. You need to be the main event, outgoing and personable. You thrive when you can connect in others, uh, with others and make a big impression. And being on stage, literally or figuratively, pushes you to be your very best. But you don't have to be Bono or Gwen Stefani to keep working the spotlight. Just use your original flair for being the basis of your social scene and mar- making friends wherever you work. You'll be sure to shine. Nicholas O'Kelly, you are a rock star. Yeah. All right. Yes, congratulations. Very cool. Very are happy you serious? for you. I'm sure a rock got, star? I do. No you think I just made all that crap up? <laughs> I just come pl- like loaded with these speeches. That's awesome. Yes, congrats. I'd like to be a rock star. I know, I know you would. You'll <laughs> never be one, but you're doing great as a podcast uh, pod podcast host. <laughs> a podcast. We're trying to be a famous podcast, so if you're in Japan, <laughs> please listen, like us, rate us, review us. Yeah, exactly. Thank Why you. not? Um, that's more China, but whatever. Yeah, I want to thank the, the <laughs> yeah our listener in Jap- Japan. How many? Uh, I wonder how many are out there, but anyway, you know, it's not important. I don't know. It, it looks like it's normally at least, uh, it looks like it's probably two. Okay. Uh, I can kind of break it down based on the percentages and see how many it is. It looks that's, like it's about two or three people. That's cool. So well, I'll take it. Yeah, whatever. Very good. It's kind of random, but hey. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm friends. I like that. You know, yeah, that's cool. Now yeah. I have a reason to be a rock star. Yeah. Because some quiz told me I should be. I know, on the internet. <laughs> But seriously, don't don't take these t- things. You, go uh, ahead, go ahead. You know what? I'm going to tell you something else that right. uh, the internet tells us we should be that I just don't understand. Okay. And it happened this past weekend. Maybe you're aware of the royal wedding. Yeah. What I, what is going on? I, I'm going to tell you something, Nick. <laughs> so I, you know, I was I remember the other day somebody's like, "Who's going to be watching this?" I'm like, "Not me." Well, okay. So I wake up. Did you watch it? I woke woke up at seven in the morning. 
open my phone, and on Facebook, the very first thing I see is the royal wedding, and they're giving each other the vows. And I was like, oh, well, shit, I get to skip all the, the bad stuff and the boring part, and I get to see it. Uh, dude, I got duped. So they say it, and he's like, I now pronounce you man and wife. They don't kiss. They just play 25 minutes of violin music. As is tradition. And and I'm standing there like, uh, when in the hell is this going to end? And then they, then they slowly walk outside, get in a carriage, and ride off. No, that's what they did, Nick. It's not a joke. <laughs> I, I do not understand... I mean, I guess is it because of Princess Diana? Did it w- was it always a major thing? Yeah. When what is the obsession with the royal? Why do we care? Because, this is America. Dude, this is this like think about Disney princesses and kings. Like that's the one place in the world where that still exists. That really is. That's what we get from Disney, yeah. right? I yeah. mean, as much as I like Disney, this is what we get. Yeah. Well, uh, have you ever seen the show The Crown? I- I've heard it was good. I haven't watched. Dude, it. Dude, you gotta watch it. Is so it good? good. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, because it's about Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, right. And her getting started. It's really good. In fact, it really intrigues me, and that's why I watched it. Watch part of that marriage. I was like, well, that's. I mean, now I'm now I know their whole thing. You know, like cheating and all that. It's great. Yeah, there's some shady stuff that goes on with the royal oh, family. There's no doubt about that. There's definitely a lot of things pointed at and not really discussed in the show. I I just. I've never been. I remember the funeral of Princess Di. Uh, How old were we? I mean, we were young. Pretty I remember- young. I remember my parents watched it. So I, you know, I will. I back then, I just thought it was cool to be able to get up in the middle of the night. Yeah. So I did. I did watch. It was like two or three in the morning or something. Weird. I watched the whole procession and everything. Oh. And I just thought, man, this is super boring. It's yeah. like the Macy's Day Parade. Yeah. I just don't care. I mean, the balloons just are a lot cool. less flute, floats. A lot less yeah, floats, no floats there, yeah. But it's just one of those things I'm like, why? <laughs> oh, they're Snoopy at yeah. Diana's uh, funeral. Yeah, okay. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's this big parade, and I'm just like, I, I don't care. Okay, I'm sad for her. Yeah, I, I mean, think it's it a sucks. horrible way to go. I, I mean, I remember being in my aunt's house um, with my cousins, and then my dad, like, the news was on, and my dad was like, oh, man, that's a shame. I was like, what? Princess Diana died. I'm like, who the hell is Princess Diana? <laughs> I know. I'm like, seven. Yeah. <laughs> like, who cares? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, uh, I think it's a horrible way to go. Yeah. I buy into the whole conspiracy theory behind it that it was probably a hit job. You think the queen did it? Well, I mean, the queen in the show that I got to know, I don't think she was capable. But uh, when I see pictures of the queen, when she glares evilly, yeah, I'm like, I, man, I she think, could do it. I think Diana was there to give to, to bear children. Yeah. And that was her purpose. Chris. So. And then Charles was like, you're done. So I don't know. Um, but there, if you ever go kind of look into all of the facts surrounding it, yeah. uh, it's very, it's very strange. The whole thing is I'd love, weird. I would love to have my friend uh, Christine Morgan on here. So she's a uh, she she's on a show called The History Gal on YouTube. Yep. Um. So she had her first season. It's really great. Like, really cool show. And I'm definitely finding its foot. And uh, she just got her master's in I think history. Um. And she was on the news the other day talking about really? it with all the news people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I really want to bring her on. I, I I hope she'll accept my invitation one of these days. But um, yeah, bring. Her I would on. love to talk to her yeah. about it, and I would love to pose these questions to her, not to insult her, but just to get the perspective. Like, what do you think about the conspiracy theories? Yeah, um, I, I would. Uh, I would. I would love to hear someone that's into history talk about it because, of course, you know I haven't done that much in depth research. I've yeah. just I've heard it. Um, I mean, Nick essentially just reads the newspaper on the toilet every morning, and that's what he sees. He doesn't even get to page two. Yeah. <laughs> he just says to read the rest of the story, you know go to so page well. two, and he's like, nah, I'm just going to stay on page one. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like this. Oh. And your your wife's like, we can't afford a plumber! <laughs> she has said that. <laughs> And more times than one. That's why they keep moving. <laughs> yep. Remember the last studio? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but I mean, but here's the thing. This week, um, Ameri- th- this came out uh, from Business Insider. America is so obsessed. How obsessed are they? With How the- obsessed <laughs> are they? <laughs> with the royal wedding that <laughs> Meghan Markle briefly overtook Trump on Google. Good for them. I mean, I, look. I don't like I, Trump. I, oh, right, I, but, but he's been trending. Because of Twitter, he's and always else. trending. Because he doesn't do anything. Well, she trended higher than him right, because of this stupid him. wedding. Yeah, right. I, I don't get it. I just yeah. don't get it. Yeah. So, good for you. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> you trended. 
What do you win when you trend? I, do you like congrat? Yeah, I don't I'm know. trending. <laughs> I want. <laughs> You like get a little trophy in the mail from Twitter and you yeah, just put much. it on the wall. I trended. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but we're trying to trend. So, I mean, hey, hey, if you if you want us to trend, uh, we'll take a trophy. <laughs> uh, I'm all about trophies, participation trophies. Derek, we are, we're slowly running out of time. So, uh, I, I wanted to get to this. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we're going to take a quick, we're gonna take a quick <laughs> commercial break. Okay. And then we're going to close out the show. Okay. Um, but but we've got to we got to get this in. So uh, okay. we'll be right back on to the Echo Radio Show. Here we go. You remember the magic? Janie and I had a summer of love. You remember the heartbreak? Then she died of cancer. You remember the heart warmth? Then I gave her dad back the Bible she gave me because she's dead, and it doesn't matter now. Return to Beaufort, North Carolina, as Landon Carter moves to the next chapter of his life. Dude, what are you doing? Ever since Jamie died of cancer, I've been missing something in my life. But you're on cancerbrides.com. That's right. You're not thinking of... Yes, I want another walk to remember. This summer, watch as Landon learns the lessons from the first movie all over again. Hey, Sherry, nice coat, you dummy. Why are you so hurtful? Why do you stink like you haven't taken a shower in six months? Because I have to carry this colostomy bag. Oh. And relive the pain and tears. I want to get you a telescope. Why? Because it's important that you can see heaven. But I don't believe in God. Damn it, Sherry. I can't walk down the aisle with you if you don't believe in God. Experience the joys and the hardship. Ladies and gentlemen, our first wedding at Chuck E. Cheese. A walk to remember, too. The journey begins again. I, <laughs> that's a uh, that's a can't miss uh, from this summer. I mean, you, we've talked about oh, Solo, yeah. we've talked about I know Deadpool, but uh, God, Walk to Remember Walk Two. Walk to Remember I mean, Two. I haven't even seen the first one, but this it's, one, the first one, will make you cry, Nick. You know, it's actually Switchfoot. The band uh, had a lot of their first songs on that. That's uh, probably why you movie. watched it, isn't it? No, I oh. in fact I didn't know I liked them until I was like, oh crap, I know all these songs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um I mean Landon was kind of a jerk and if you like that's pretty much in the first movie he was just a jerk to this girl and then he's like all right I love you and she's like damn it I have cancer and he's like no <laughs> and then they get married it's and like they Forrest break Gump. up exactly but then I think in the second movie he just kind of he's like you know what I want to do this again I want to I'm going to yes <laughs> I mean, like that's that's really the true blood of really any the time of my life. Uh, like, and, and really, any good sequel just rips off the first movie. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so, why not? Talking about X uh, X three or no 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 um, uh, X Men Apocalypse. Yeah, there is a line in it that uh, the girl from Game of Thrones has. I I can't think of her name. Sorry, um, Sophie Turner. Yeah, Sophie Turner, uh, where she says. They walk out of a movie theater, and it was, you know, the third installment of whatever it was. And she says, well, we all know the third one's the worst. <laughs> and Good. wasn't she right? No. No joke. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, walk to Remember 2. Uh, yeah. Go check it out in theaters, uh, yeah, was, this weekend. Yeah. Whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Derek. Yeah. It's always a sad time. It is. We had a nice little geek out show today. We, we did. Uh, but hey, why not? Yeah, I, I think it's okay. Yeah. I'm not. A, I'm a fan. I, I've just been, I mean, I, I know I've said this, but uh, I have really been digging into some comics. Uh, and it's all because these movies have been so good yeah. that I, I want to read all about all these characters that they've been uh, bringing into the fold. So anyway, yeah, go read it. Comicsology.com if you want to sponsor the show. Yeah. That's. <laughs> I think every week we're supposed to sponsor a show, but we just put in a request for a sponsor. Yeah, yeah this week we'd like to thank uh, Walmart for considering sponsoring our show. Yeah. Uh, if Walmart, if you'd like to talk to us, please, to the echo.com. Yeah. Something like this. <laughs> um, hold on. Uh, here we go. Shopping at Walmart is like living a life more abundantly. Because you can get so much stuff. Walmart, sponsor the show. <laughs> I don't know. That's really good. That's pretty good. We'll work on it. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> and next week, uh, I'm hoping we're able to get this done. Uh, Drew Hepler, our, our guest last week, wrote us a beautiful skit. Yeah. 
uh, one that I'm really afraid to put out. Um, <laughs> so I've had to ask some friends. It is funny. It is, it is really funny. funny, but I'm like, man, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're really going to. We're, we're trying to get listeners. So. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm thinking about it. Yep. Uh, we're going to think. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'm still. I'm really scared to do it. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he did write a really great skit. <laughs> he did. So uh, listen for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really scared. Well, I also want to thank uh, Matt Newton, uh, my buddy who um, I partnered with to do a lot of these commercials. Um, Walk through number two, uh, Twix, um, Tide Pod Zero, Tide Pod Zero. Yeah, I, I called him. I said I need some ideas, dude. He just spit one out after another after another, and then I spent thursday yeah this week you sent all. me like six yeah six in a row and uh and now I, i'm pretty much just gonna have a standing appointment with him to just keep getting ideas <laughs> um i'd love to bring him on the show at some point too but um uh, another time well that about does it so check us out on to the echo.com um our lovely host spreaker web radio s-p-r-e-a-k-e-r.com search for to the echo radio show tweet us at to the echo radio uh soundcloud iheart radio pretty much just google to the Echo Radio Show, and you will find us. Patreon.com slash to the echo. A link right on to the echo.com. That's right. Uh, support um, the show. Yeah. Review, rate us. That's how we get up on the charts. Um, you Subscribe know. to us because yeah. then you will get an alert. Yeah. Especially if you have it on Apple uh, iTunes podcast, yeah. you get an alert whenever one comes out. That's right. Um, and then you'll never miss us. That's right, because I know it's hard. We're only on two days a week. You only get a couple days break from yeah, us. But, but that should be pretty good. I know. But, but hey, if you download it, then maybe we'll do another show. And then another, and before you know it, you got five shows a week, and you can't you, you can't get away from us. And if you tell two friends, then they'll tell two friends, and then they'll tell two friends. And, and then one day I'll be in the bathroom, and some guy will be like, hey, you should download the To The Echo Radio Show. And I'll be like, dude, <laughs> I'm taking a dump. Yeah, you're going to be in the bathroom, and it's going to be like this. And the guy's going to be like, you must be Derek Daisy. <laughs> like, well, on my better days. <laughs> so thanks for listening, yes. and we'll see you Sunday night. At 8 p.m. That's right. Don't miss it. This has been To, to the, the Echo, Echo Radio yeah, Show. Yeah, I'm Nick O'Kelly. I'm Derek Daisy. We'll see you next time. See ya. Show.